What's up guys, Drone Worship in your face, and uh, we're going to be talking about uh, building your own DIY battery. This comes from a Chris uh, Goodall sent me this uh, so that we could do the teardown. So I'm going to be making all of these videos in segment of how to tear this down, pull out the BMS, solder it, and calibrate it. So be ready for those videos. Also guys, be aware that we do have the DIY battery mod for purchase for those of you that don't want to do the mod. For whatever reason, you can purchase that. Uh, just go to soloflies.com. There'll be a link in the description of every one. You can thank John uh, Brotherton for doing that for all of you guys. Um, I'm just the technical aspect here. Um, I'll just be showing you how to do the mod, uh, how to do the calibration. Um, I did do the Solex calibration right up for you guys. So I'm not going to talk your ear off. Let's get started. We're going to pull this apart. I'm going to show you the easiest way to take this apart. And uh, then we're going to go through the entire uh, video segment for you guys. So this video will probably play before all of the videos. So if you missed any of them, feel free to jump back. It's going to be done by part one, part two, part three, part four, so on and so forth until it's all done. Each one of my videos that I put out will be in the description of the video below labeled and uh, the links will be there for you to click on so you guys can do that. Let's get started. All right, guys, welcome back. This is part two, and there's a couple things we're going to talk about. Number one, how dangerous these batteries are uh, if you puncture them on accident. So when you're doing this part, be very, very careful. Uh, you're not actually going to have to extract the battery. I'll go ahead and explain that here in a sec. And uh, this is probably the hardest part. Um, of this whole thing but I find the easiest thing to do is you can see that the cells are staggered here um, so to get the Molex connector out which is obviously loose to you're just gonna pull the BMS board out but to do that you have to grab it pinch it like this take your two fingers pinch the top cell and you're gonna slide the top cell you're gonna give some pressure and you're just gonna take the BMS and you're gonna slowly push and it'll fit right out the side and you don't actually have to extract the battery as you guys can see here so we'll go ahead and pull this up being very very careful because there are wires in here and we're going to go ahead and keep pulling there we go so the BMS is ready to be cut out now so I'm going to remove this yellow tape and uh, have a look at the next part of this that we're going to have to do Let's see if I can get this tape off of here if I have to I'll speed up the video there guys So, next thing you guys are going to want to do is this is the battery thermal wire. It's just attached by a little piece of yellow tape. You're just going to go ahead and give a little pull here. Just be careful. And uh, it is glued to the battery, as you can see. So now that has been removed. You're going to need to keep this piece. And let's see if I can get this yellow tape off of here. I'm going to go ahead and just pull the yellow tape out the bottom. I am also going to disconnect so we can get this out of the way I'm going to disconnect the balance port from the BMS here so this is the current balance port here guys and we're just going to give a little pull oops this one's being stubborn doesn't want to come out of there there we go got it that time okay so good to go balance port has been disconnected now and I'm also going to disconnect the power wire here, if I can, the harness for the power wire. And what we're going to carefully do from this step here is make sure that you're not touching anything. I'm going to go ahead and grab some scissors here, guys. And uh, if you want, you can desolder. Uh, that's completely up to you. I am going to go ahead and cut the red first. And make sure the red stays clear of everything here you do not want it to make contact with the battery so I'm gonna go ahead and slide it up underneath and then I'm going to come let me make this a little easier on myself over to here and we're gonna cut this one off too there we go so the BMS has been cut out and extracted but we still have to get the power button out of here so I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside 
We get all this extra plastic out of here. So that's our BMS, which we're gonna be soldering to all these wires later. But now we need to get the balance lead, which has to be cut off of the uh, balance pack here on the top. All we need is these wires here. So we're just gonna end up cutting this like this, but you have to do each individual wire uh, by itself separately because unfortunately these have power running through them. So we're gonna go ahead and stand these up. I'm gonna cut one. We're gonna move that one out of the way. I'm gonna pull up right here. We're gonna cut number two. Get that one up out of the way. Number three. Let's get these out of the way here. Number three, get that one out of the way. Number four, it's right here. And of course, number five. All right, so we now have the balance port extracted, which I'm going to be replugging back in here. Okay, if I can get this turned around. Oh, it's gonna put up a little fight with me here. There we go, okay. This is what we'll be connecting a female balance port to, which we'll talk about here in a sec. So this is how you're gonna balance your battery. Thermal, and now we still need to remove the power switch because that is gonna be reconnected right here. But most of these solo batteries, and this may be a bit of a struggle for you guys here. Let's get this out of the way. This may be a slight struggle for you guys, but sometimes these are actually really, really in there and they take some work. So what we found the easiest thing to do here, guys, was to take a little bit of your uh, glue buster and just let it slide down there on the clip like that. Give it a sec, wiggle it back and forth, and it pops right out like a boss. No extra work having to be done. So there you go. Take this in the back and uh, dry it off real quick. Get all that extra stuff off of there. And I'll uh, see you guys in a sec. Okay, so you've extracted everything you need. You're done with this. Go ahead and uh, take this outside. Fill a bucket full of water and uh, salt. A good amount, throw it in there. After a couple days, it'll kill this battery pack and you'll be able to throw it in the trash can. You don't need this or this anymore. You're done with that. Go ahead and take your power wire. Plug it back in. Like so. If I can get it on here. Probably upside down here. There we go. And now you have your on-off switch right here. Your balance port and... A place to uh, solder on your XT60 connector, which we're going to be talking about here in a sec. So this is your XT60 female connector. That's going to go on the red and the black wire. That way you can plug into a 4S battery of your choice. But now we need a female balance port, which is right here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys how to wire this balance port up correctly in the next video. We're going to show all the soldering, all the shrink wrapping, all that fun jazz in the next video so you guys can see how to do this. So thanks for sticking around. I'll see you guys in part three.